Let's talk about hair. <laughs> project the project name um, the client was Oea and it was Greek meaning uh, goddess I love that project we were able to create a brand from start to finish so we created the name um, at first it was called knockout and my client we had to switch up the name at the last minute um, before we started really going into the process of like creating the project uh, product as far as like the packaging and the website and all that. And so we made the name Oea, um, which it, like I said, it means goddess in Greek. And she wanted these women that were angelic-like and goddess-like. She wanted everyone to feel like they are this goddess when they do the hairspray um, or spray the hair, spray their hair. They just feel fresh and, and, and rejuvenated. And it was beautiful, like the overall concept. And we created these uh, spray bottle designs and like I said, the packaging for it um, to really speak to Gen Z's, but also older generation uh and so it was very bright and colorful we kind of i wanted to kind of make it more of a nude color but my client was like really persistent on wanting to have these bright bold colors so we usually do what the client acts like we give our professional opinion but then like if the client is really um strained on like wanting to create it a certain way then we do that and i mean i think it turned out beautiful I think it turned out beautiful. Like I said, I probably would have went with more of like a nude look um, and like antique type of look if we were talking about goddesses and like Greek and all that stuff. But overall, like I said, it turned out beautiful. It has like so many pops of color that it would grab your attention if you saw it on a shelf or if you saw it um, like on social media in a photo, uh, which I will see, like I said. Um, and I felt like it was, uh, I felt like I need to point this out because I wanted, during the photo shoot when we were casting the models, I wanted four different particular women that can represent the brand correctly. So we had uh, a Latina, we had a um, Caucasian, we had a black girl with her natural hair. I felt like that was super important. Like, I think other people that was on the team, they wanted a, a, a girl that, had was black but she either had like super curly hair but i wanted like that 4c textured hair because it's not represented like i feel like a lot of people don't represent it well in their brand or like you don't see it at all so i'm a huge believer in representation representation matters and so yeah <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember if it was like a fight for that, but I really wanted someone like that. And we did find someone that had 4C hair, fro, like like I said, y'all y'all will see it in the video, in the commercial that we shot. We partnered up with a, a company here that does photography and videography um, named Fort Line Studio. And I actually was so excited to work with their team because we actually went to the same school together, um, the husband and I. And so to be able to work with a husband and wife, um, minority owned, and yeah, it was amazing. I really loved working with them and they were super professional. Um, yeah, it was exciting. We all had lessons to learn at the same time um, and just trying to please the client, honestly, overall. I mean, she loved everything, but unfortunately it didn't move forward. Um, it was during COVID, like right in the middle of COVID, but um, I did want to share this project with you because like I said, we had so many things that we were able to provide our client that it, it turned out so amazing. So sit back and watch where we did we first start off, like I said, with the branding, then model casting call at my studio. And then, um, like I said, we did video shoots and photo shoots and um, 3D modeling for the client as far as like her packaging, um, website building, branding, um, packaging, um, even little 
lapel pins for her for her um, con consumers or customers. Uh, yeah, I think we even did like social media templates to give that brand aesthetic, those visuals for her brand on other different platforms and mediums. Uh, she was a pleasure, a pleasure to work with. And like I said, unfortunately, it did not move forward overall after we did all those, um, did all that work. But yeah, that's my two cents, so bye. <laughs>